All right, Hans here. Today is really a special day. I just came back to China for a whole year now. Is everything is differently? Everything is different now. I would say this one year is so fast. It's moving so quick. It's like everything, just like yesterday. The last day I came to China was in September eighth. Be right, fly back to. Shenzhen city. This is so interesting. And that time, I thought I should move here and just work. As I want to find a place where I can start my new life, my new career here in Shenzhen. Well, well, at that time, you know, it's close to Autumn Festival. It's、um, Mid Autumn Festival is a traditional Chinese holiday. So my parents asked me to go back to hometown to celebrate with them. And actually, sure, of course. The reason I directly come here to Shenzhen because I didn't want to talk to them. I was just back to China. I wanted to directly find a job and do do it quick. So I'm afraid them to notify me to come back. Actually, but the thing is, I didn't got my ID card. My ID card, identity card. It's like your drive license or something. I forgot it my hometown because I sent it that address to them, like、uh, early February 2019, and、uh, I also I didn't have my phone number,、uh, Chinese phone number. So I have to. There are no other ways for me to stay in Shenzhen. I have to fly back to hometown. So after a week, I decide to go, but、um, I didn't have money. To be honest, so how can I stay there directly? Oh, also another thing is,、um, a friend of mine suggested me to. He just met me and just want to, we just to launch a business. It's like, you know, this like a payment system. It's really advanced. However, it, because we did it really early and. A lot of structures and policy are right here. Is like registered policy is a little bit different, and we are making like trials and errors. Finally, we have to say we failed. So then on November, it really came to Shenzhen again to register my ID. So in the future, I can live and work as a Shenzhen guy and officially. My hometown right now is in Shenzhen. That's one thing. And after this whole year experiences, I learn a lot. Especially working in a company, I know some little bit teamwork. I started to understand these different environments. And、um, compared to the United States, I feel like in China right now developed really fast. After March. The time I drive fly back to Shenzhen, car time is over. Everything is all, most of things are recovered, and you can see right here. What I find is that United States, their market is a little bit too narrow, and、um, I was in Virginia, Arlington, Virginia, on the city. Has only one shopping mall. It's the Pentagon Fashion Center, and it's, you can't love it because this shopping mall is like a, so small and a little, little bit even embarrassing compared to China's shopping mall. And another thing is, in that places, a lot of business model is not really mature. If it's not really convenient, if you don't. Have a car? If you want a Coke, there's no Meituan or like, or like、uh, you know, but、uh, right, right now they they had a DoorDash or whatever you know. They, you can just、um, like Didi Food, Uber Food. You can eat outside, eat out, or ask someone to send it to your home. And、um, all, and not not only that, especially compared to China, the metro system is. It's like way better than United States, and those are the convenient thing about this country. Is living here,、uh, you don't need have like、um, taking your wallet. 
you can pay almost everything. Metro system, you can go to like、um, pay your food, go shopping. You don't need to take your wallet. Everything is are able to use your mobile phone to pay. And here, like people ha- have like like really chilling lifestyle. And at night, a lot of people are just walking down the street, have fun. Oh well, you, it's really hard to find it in the United States. Like big hometown, like big countryside, no one is outside. It's quite lonely, and after eight or nine, door is closed. So it's more vibrantly, it's more alive living in China, and this is my motherland, and I have to say I love it. Everything, but、uh, this is just a lifestyle part. But you know, for for the personality, I think almost the same. Everyone, every country, you know, we are have like similar human nature. You know, there are anywhere you can find ambitious guy, anywhere you can find a little bit lazy person, and some of them might not have this awakened. Period of mindset. Not a lot of people love to learn or just create something new. And I want to make this short video, not too long, and just I just want to say something, and、um, don't need to edit a lot. So to really, to really show you this voice. And right now it's a like lunch time. You can see something randomly. This is something what I found.、Uh, honestly, I went to a lot of business venture capital because I always find some great business opportunities there that the world has right now. China didn't have, and especially like、um, some part of like the in- internet software, and people did need it. I went to some venture capitals that are sound investors. They don't understand it because they think, "Oh, this is probably just a scam or what they, whatever they think is the market is is immature." You, how you prove that?、Um, I think some of the investors are arrogant, croaky, and they just think they are better than you. And actually, they didn't have. It's just a fake. Investors, but anyway. So he, currently, I thought a lot about that, and I found one business idea. This is truly exciting business idea, and it's easy. I won't say it's easy, but、uh, I just find this is follow the trends, and I'm gonna start this business probably in a month or two. I will register a new company, and probably I'm going to build that by myself. Well, they still enter the secret. I don't want to share a lot about that. Probably in two months or three months later, I will show you guys later on. And、um, you know, if you truly want to be successful, I want you guys to know that no matter where you are, you can always. Be successful. It's not about the whole environment. And to be honest, in China, is a, the investing or entrepreneurship environment is truly great. It's great, and nothing to compare it about. Nothing to complain about. And、um, yeah, if you if you are the listeners right now, want to start your business, and to be honest, to be as matter of fact, China. Has the largest world factory. It builds everything. It's, so if you find some business opportunities, like you are living in a Western world, if you are in a place where you find your luck of something, probably you can just visit China. You can see something that here they have it, but in your hometown you don't have it. So probably there's a trading opportunity, or you can start to make it happen. Is your own decision for that. And、um, truly, no matter what you want to become, you want to be in 
an entrepreneur or if you want to even like truly do something you like being a poet 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 or painter writer or traveler youtuber whatever you like follow your heart do everything you like just consistently doing it and the world won't just do reward it for your only hard work for one day but you constantly constantly resistantly do it and one day the world is going to find you and you are going to shine I hope you guys like this really short soft talk video or audio I hope you guys have a wonderful day peace